Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I'm sorry it's been a crazy month, but I'm back. Um, August was my husband's birthday. It was our first wedding anniversary. School started back and I was working like crazy. Um, but I'm back and I'm going to try to stay back. I'm going to try to do some more videos for you all. I'm going to try to go back to once a week again. So I am finally... Finally, 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 doing da, 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 the Naked Smoky Eye Palette tutorial that I promised you all. Okay, so first off, as always, I'm going to be using the, ooh, it's upside down, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Is that backwards for you guys? I don't, I don't know, and I'm really sorry if it is, but I list everything down below that I use. Since it's been so long since I filmed a video, I thought I would do a talk through so I can hang out with you guys. So I'm just gonna use a little flat shader brush and as always my Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray or if you have like MAC Fix Plus or um, eye drops I've even heard or water, just anything to wet your brush. I'm going to use this color right here, this like blue silver color, and I'm just going to tap it all over the lid. And then I'm actually going to take the brush that's already in it. It has two ends. It has like the pencil and, and then it has like a fluffy side. And I'm going to take the fluffy side and I'm going to use Combust, which is this like kind of taupey color. Oh, and the last color that I used was called Slanted. I forget that it has the names on the bottom. And then I'm just going to put Combust right in the crease. And then we're going to go over that, but it's just kind of the more colors you use, the more dimensions. And guys, you should be really impressed. I'm using like all cool colors. Shocking. I did do a look here that was like a warm colored look and I love it so if you guys want me to let if you guys want to see that one um comment below or like this video and I'll do that one too but I have another video first another at least one probably two before I do that one um I am so ready for fall and I have a fall tutorial that I really really want to do I can't wait for it I'm so excited for it even though it's still like 80 degrees here in Georgia Oh well, I'm so ready for pumpkin spice lattes and to wear my boots and sweaters and scarves and snuggle up, watch football. But, which I still do. Did that Saturday. And I'm gonna do it tonight. Yay, college football! So, what team do you guys cheer for? Do you guys have a college football team you cheer for? Huh, huh? I'm a roll tide. I go Alabama. But I also have to share for Ohio State because if I don't, my family will disown me. Anyways, so the next color I'm going to use is woo, this dagger color. And we're just going to take the pencil side and just kind of do a really bad cut crease. Don't worry, we're going to blend it out though. You can use that fluffy brush again, or I have a favorite fluffy blending brush, as you guys know. It's my BH Cosmetics one, and I just love this for blending stuff out, so I'm going to use that. Like I said, just kind of blend it out in white windshield wiper motions, kind of do little circles here. Um, but we want to keep this area kind of as clean as possible. Because um, like I said, that's especially using blues, that's how you're going to get that I just got punched in the eye look. Not really a look we're going for. Not a pretty sight. And don't worry, we're going to fix this and all the fallout. That's why I don't do my foundation first. Okay, and then we're going to take that small pencil brush one more time. And we're going to go in with Black Market, which I don't think is black. 
I see blue in it. But that's just me. Maybe I'm colorblind. But it's definitely a blue black. And we're just gonna kind of put that in the outer V. With that pencil brush again, I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. Oh, happy Labor Day, everybody. I don't know if it'll be posted tonight for Labor Day, but um, it's definitely Labor Day today. So, happy Labor Day. Hope everyone's enjoying their day off, if they haven't. And to those of you who don't, thank you for working. Because I didn't. Actually, I tried to work today. I was going to pick up um, at my old job. Because I'm still training at my new job, so I can't really pick up yet. Um, I was going to try to pick up my old job, and they're like, oh, we're closed today. I was like, oh, okay then. I was kind of looking forward to it, because Monday is a really good money night. Because um, we usually have trivia on Monday. So, I'm just, as you see, kind of blending that a little bit up into the crease. Not all the way, just like halfway, like right the top of my eyebrows, which is a really bad mark. How about like my pupil? I'd be like a freak with my eyes like that, but yeah, I'm just gonna blend it a little bit up. I'm gonna take just a cleansing towel. I stole these from the hotel when my husband and I went. We went to Savannah. Oh my gosh, if you guys ever get a chance to go to Savannah, go. It is amazing. It rained like the whole weekend um but it was so much fun and it was so beautiful and i want to go back so if y'all ever get the chance please go like i'm telling you it's so much fun and you guys have to go it's the old pink house for dinner that's where we did our anniversary dinner it's expensive but it's totally worth it the food is <gasps> to die for absolutely to die for um and it's really cool like it's this old like mansion and like the basement is like this old like speakeasy looking place it's got like a bar and it's got like a fireplace you can sit next to and like drink your drinks and have some coffee maybe i don't know we just kind of went down there and looked and stuff it was it's absolutely beautiful though and it was so good so yeah anyways okay so now that i've cleaned that up I'm going to, guys, I got a new foundation and I love it. I am so excited. I didn't know if I would because I was trying to get the um, the Revlon photo finish, but they have the airbrush now. I don't like it. I don't know why. I just, I didn't like it. So I switched it and I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, sorry, the sun decided, it was like out all morning, and now that I've decided to film, it's like hiding behind a cloud, so I'm really sorry about my lighting, it's terrible, but I just had to film for you guys today, so, yes, anyways, you know, just the usual, dotting it on everywhere, looking like a fool until I blend it all out, don't forget down your neck. Especially because I'm super pale right now and it does not match. I'm really sorry, but I really wanted to use this. It actually does. You just, you know, that endless lighting. Slash, my tan is starting to fade. Um, because like I said, I haven't been going to the pool. I haven't had time to go to the pool. I don't know if I haven't been feeling like it because I really just, I'm ready for fall. But. So, yeah. Who else is ready for fall? Like, what is your favorite things to do in the fall? Like, comment below and, like, let me know. I want to make, like, a a fall to-do list type thing. And, like, I've seen them on Pinterest and stuff, but if you guys have any good ideas or anything or, like, your favorite place to go or something... I want to go to a pumpkin patch again this year. My husband and I went, um, we didn't go to a pumpkin, well, I guess it was a pumpkin patch, but we already had our pumpkins. Um, or did we? I don't even remember. But we went apple picking, and that was so much fun. We went in a corn maze, and it was actually really confusing. Like, 
like, I think I was lost a couple of times. I mean, we figured it out, like, almost right away, but anyways, it was fun, and I love pumpkin patches and apple picking, and I am a fall girl. I am absolutely a fall girl. Hate the cold, hate the winter, but I'm all about drinking hot tea and sitting by the fire and the leaves change. Anyways, enough about fall. I'm going crazy. Miss my forehead. Right here. Okay, so next we're just going to, I'm really sorry guys, I'm still sick so I sniffle a lot. Um, but next we are just going to highlight slash use concealer to cover any redness around my nose as always. Stupid hormones. Being a girl stinks sometimes. Let me tell you. You're all like, yeah, we know. <laughs> It looks like a lot, but I promise you, it's really not. I put on a really thin layer today. So, slash, I think this is the emptier one of the two. I have two of them. I don't think I took the emptier one. Oops. So, ooh, that's a little bit. Normally, I use, as you guys know, I use my Beauty Blender, um, but I didn't grab it, so I don't feel like going for it. So, we're just going to blend this all out, and just pat it in. This sun really does not want to come out, like, for real, y'all. I don't know what's going on with it. Of course, like, as soon as I have time to film a video, and it's been sunny all day, and then, nope, it's gone. Ugh, drives me crazy. It's okay, because it was supposed to rain today, and so far it hasn't. Knock on wood. As close as I have. Oh, wait. Okay. Knock on wood. We're good. I'm going to take... My little purple kabuki brush and my Mary Kay's translucent powder. Guys, I hit pan while I was in Savannah. I swear I almost cried. <laughs> I was like, all of a sudden, I'm like in like that little vanity area. And all of a sudden I was like, no! And my husband, Zach, was like, what is wrong? I'm like, it's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? I'm like, I hit pan. It's heartbreaking. But anyways, I am just kind of setting under the eyes, from the top of my head, down my nose, pretty much anywhere we just put that concealer. We just don't want it to slip and slide. Another sad thing, I'm back to... My old, almost very gone bronzer because my brand new one that I bought, it was like literally like the third or fourth time that I was using it and I dropped it. And so I need to fix it. So do y'all know how to fix it? Your powders if they break? I saw it on Pinterest, but I will do a video if y'all want me to do it. Um, it's been sitting there for like probably this whole month actually. Just sitting there sadly on my bathroom sink, like, please fix me. Please fix me. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm having it. But anyways, we're just gonna bronze the cheeks. Y'all know how to do this. I've seen you do it a million times. Your forehead. Just warms everything up, especially in this lighting. I look like a ghost. I swear, I told you my tan is gone, but it is not that gone. Like, whew, I look scary right now. So, we're just gonna warm it up. Then we're going to use my NYX blush and apricot, as usual. And it's broken still. I really need a new one. I was gonna grab my mom's blush. She bought a new Smashbox blush. I don't remember what color it is. It's like a... 
kind of like a peachy color and I love it. I've been using it a lot, but I forgot to grab it. So this is what we got. Okay, and then I'm going in with my Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep Matte Bronzer by Too Faced. This, I can get it, there we go. I can get it open. And then I'm going to squeeze this brush. So it's nice and flat. And then I'm just going to kind of contour a little more. Make those cheeks fabulous. Or, sorry, fabulous is not the word anymore. It's on fleek. Whatever. I do use on fleek all the time, though. Especially because I'm a Jaclyn Hill girl and she uses it all the time. I'm never doing it on fleek. I'm just gonna do a little more up here. Not too much. Just more in my hairline. Alright. And then, dun 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 dun. I think my last video. I was complaining that I didn't have this yet, and I have it now. I have the Becca Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. I'm so excited. Wait, are you ready for this? I still have the little protector in it. Like, that's how obsessed I am with it. Look at this. Look at it. It's so pink. So any time that I've worn makeup, this is what I've used. Anyways, I'm going to kick it up. Okay, I'm going to use just my little flat fan brush. And we're going to go down the nose, tops of the lips, and right there. Oh man, do you see the highlight on fleek? Look at that, it is beautiful. <gasps> I'm obsessed with this color. I When I she first, I follow her on Snapchat. You guys should follow me on Snapchat. I'll post it down below. But it's Jenner's 57, I think. Anyways, like I said, I'll post it down below. Um, when she first posted it, like, what it looked like, I was like, oh, no, there's no way I would ever be able to wear that. That is, like, way too gold for me. Because, you know me, I use Moonstone, which is, like, the lightest color ever. Um, but then I tried it, and I was like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. I had to have it. I went like a million different places. I went um, to well, the big mall or the fancy mall, which is Lennox Mall um, up in Atlanta. And I went there and they were sold out. I was like, no. So then I was like, well, I'll try the JCPenney's that has a Sephora here. Um, and they were sold out. So I was like, okay, I have to get it online. I'm like, I cannot risk it, like, not getting it right now. Or not getting it, like, at all. Like, it being completely sold out. And then, of course, as soon as after I bought it, like, Jacqueline made this huge announcement that all Sephora's were getting restocked with it and blah, blah, blah. So if you haven't gotten it, I do believe that it is still at Sephora. But it is Sephora only. You can't get it at Ulta or anything else, anywhere else. It's only Sephora. And let me tell you, it's a bit pricey. I think it was like $34 or something. Um, but they last forever. Like my other one I've had for a year and I have not hit pan like at all. And I use it all the time. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to use my Maybelline Define a Line in Ebony Black. I'm sorry guys, I cannot stop sniffling. I'm trying really hard. And I'm just gonna do the waterline. Just to thicken up those lashes and I totally just got it there. And then I'm gonna go back into the Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I'm gonna use just a flat liner brush. And I'm gonna go in with that Black Market, the Black Market, aka the navy blue in this palette and I'm just going to line the bottom lash line next I'm going to take the other that pencil end and I'm gonna take the slanted that like silvery blue color again that we had on the lid and I'm just going to kind of just 
blend it out, smoke out the lower lash line with it. If you want, you can, if you want it like really smoky and dark, you can take that um, Maybelline black eyeliner again and do your waterline. This is totally optional. It's just going to make the look even smokier. Um, but if you have really small eyes, you don't want to necessarily do this part because um, it's going to make your eyes appear even smaller. But see how much smaller my eyes look? So, yeah. All right. Also, something new I've been trying. I told you I got new mascara. The Pumped Up Colossal Volume by Maybelline. I, as you all know, I'm not a huge falsies person. I love them. Um, they're just a pain in the butt to put on, and so therefore I don't. Um, and so instead of putting falsies on, I have been doubling up on my mascaras. So I use this for my first coat. For my second coat, I use the Urban Decay Provision. Yeah, I'm gonna just apply this for my second coat. I'm just gonna take the lash. I can't get it out of the line. Just a beady, beady, beady little brush. It's tiny. And I'm gonna go back in with the Becca highlighter. And I'm just gonna put a little bit and put it. Um, as my highlight, I'm going to put it mostly right under my brow and then just blend it down. But I want the most like right under my brow. Yeah. And then finally, it's just the lips. Um, I start with the Ulta, what is this? Automatic Lip Line in Bare, B-A-R-E, not like bare naked, not like bare, like rawr, bare, because <laughs> that's what bears do. And then I'm using the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Nude. use your Urban Decay All Night Makeup Setting Spray and spray your face and it'll last all night. Um, but I'm not doing anything today so I'm not going to spray my face because I'm a little sick. I'm probably going to go wash this off. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed this look and make sure you subscribe, um, comment below if you like this look or any looks you want to see. Like I said, I have a few that I want to film next, um, but I'm always up for suggestions. And two thumbs up this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!